We're going to talk about blending acrylics. Blending one color into another. Now, it sounds pretty simple, right? You just uh, put out a bit of color and then put out a bit more of the other color and blend away. That's true. Generally, it's really easy with most types of paint. With oil paints though, you find they take a lot longer to dry. Now, most often this can be more of a hindrance than a help, but acrylics on the other hand can dry, they certainly dry a lot quicker than oils and, and they might dry more quickly than what you would like if you're trying to cover a big area and blend the color as you go. So we're gonna try a couple of different techniques to get a nice even coverage across our whole canvas here. So the first technique is pretty simple. You literally just blend the colors on the palette, make up plenty of paint, and then apply that onto your canvas and keep working down. That's fine, and, that, and that's pretty simple. However, if you're doing larger areas, it's a really warm day, it's a very dry day, you might find the acrylics dry too quickly for you. So, another thing you can do is add a little bit of drying retarder. Now, you can either add that to the paint, or indeed you can actually add it to some water and spray it over both your palette to keep your palette wet, but also over your work as you're going. Just be careful you don't get droplets all over it. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and have a go at this canvas and, uh, and go from blue to a, a very light blue. And we'll add a little bit of drying retarder as we start to find it starting to dry a little bit. I might need a little bit more paint. Now, with the drying retarder, you don't want to add too much. So it's great we've got these uh, pipettes here. About three to five percent in the paint is how much drying retarder you're looking for. So literally just a few drops will be plenty. The drying retarder chemically acts to slow the drying time of the paint. So I'm just going to mix that in on my palette. It really won't change the paint too much. Now I want a nice strong blue at the, the top of my canvas here. But then I'm going to start adding, just adding a little bit more white. So it doesn't really matter if it dries up here because I want it to dry, obviously. So I'll add little bit of white in there, pick up maybe a little bit more white. And so I'm just blending on the canvas now, obviously. You're going to waste less paint doing this. And I'm just going backwards and forwards, moving fairly quickly. Just going to add a little bit more drying retarder in there. Make sure I mix it well with the paint, get some more paint on there. So I'm just, I'm putting the paint on quite thick because that in itself will help to slow the drying time. So the thicker the paint is, the longer it will take to dry. And so that in itself will allow, allow the paint to remain open longer. And by open we mean wet and it's it's still it's still quite wet here be careful if you come back into the area that's starting to dry you might start to lift the skin of the paint which which clearly you don't want to do because you'll you'll start getting lumps which is effectively the paint starting to skin off or dry and you don't want that So I want this a little bit whiter down the bottom, so I'm just going to add some in there. If you move fairly quickly, you'll find you've got plenty of time to work the paint 
anyway. I just want to move this back up so I get it a little bit more even as we go up. The other thing, your brush, make sure you've got a brush that's commensurate with the size work you're doing. This is probably as small as I would want to go on a, on a work this size. Something that might have been better was a brush this sort of size that's, that's twice the width. Um, and just allows you, once again, to work a little bit quicker. If your work starts to dry, that's fine, because what we're going to do, I've got some water in here. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of drying retarder into that, and then make sure with your atomizer that you don't put big droplets on there. Ah, oh, just as I've done, actually. So I'll show you how to get rid of those too. Um, you don't want to water the colours right down, but this is just allowing me now to actually work over the whole piece, including up the top here, which had, had certainly started to, uh, to dry a little. And I just want to get this even. Be careful being tempted to, to go too quickly and... and uh, take too much light into the dark or, or vice versa. And I'd just keep working that. I actually want more, I want it to be lighter. So I'm going to continue to add some more white using this nice big brush. And because nothing has dried off yet, I'm able to do this. So the acrylics will continue to, uh, to stay alive using the drying retarder for some considerable time. Just going to mix that in on the canvas. So that's more like what I was after. I want it to be lighter but I need to make sure this all stays wet and open so I can continue to take the the white up there where I've decided I want it to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to take some more and maybe even put a bit more in. Now, if my canvas was not still wet up here, or the paint was not still wet on the canvas, I could end up in some real strife. I'm also, as, as I brush, I'm just getting ever so lighter in my in my pressure my downward pressure on the brush and you can keep playing with this for ages it depends just where you want the uh, the graduation to be lighter and darker but we'll just we just want to get a little bit lighter I'll hold that up so I can see it out of the light And we'll leave that to dry. You could work it a little bit more to, to make it even, even smoother. If you do happen to drop some water, as I've just noticed, there's a dot on there. If you happen to drop some water on there, that's cool. Don't touch it though. Just leave it to dry. If I were to, if I were to try and move that now, even with a clean brush or even with my finger you'll see that it will actually take some of the color with it and leave a real mess there so don't don't be tempted to touch it i'll just see if i can fix that there we go so yeah if you if you spray if you spray unit these uh these derivan refillable spray units are are very good, they really do atomise well, but every so often you'll end up with a little bit of extra water on there. It can end up on the work. Just let it sit. Don't try and remove it, and unless you can keep working back into it. But certainly once it's started to dry off and you're finished and you're happy with the way it looks, then just leave the water. You can come back later and repair it as well, um, but if it's started to dry, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. So how much time have you got between when you can you start working and 
when you really can't work it anymore. Look, that's kind of like how long is a piece of string. I'm in here under lights, it's quite warm, it's starting to dry off already after 10 minutes. Sometimes if it's a bit cooler, uh, more humid, it will take longer for the paint to dry. If you've got lots of paint on there, it'll take a bit longer. And conversely, if it's warmer or you've got less paint on there, it'll dry more quickly. So really, if you can work reasonably quickly, pick the size that you can work in. So in other words, if you've got a brush this big, don't try and do a six by six foot canvas. You know, this is as large, uh, what's this, roughly two foot by one foot with a one inch brush or 60 centimetres by 30 centimetres with a two and a half centimetre brush. Um, but so, so pick the right equipment for what you're doing. Put a little bit extra on, that will definitely give you more time to work. Thanks for watching. Thank you.